Oh no. All right, hope everybody's doing good. So, uh, we're going to play Broken Sword today, which is actually a channel points request. Uh, it's my only current video game request. Uh, so, no, that's, that's done. It's by Kevin. Change that to the completed list. There we go. Cool. Just buy a new sword. I know, right? So I don't know much about this game, to be honest. I know it's a bit older. Uh, I've heard it's a lot, uh, almost more movie than game. Uh, but that's about all I know. Blade, thank you for the reset, by the way. How are you good? Yeah, it looks fine. I want the speech volume to be higher anyway. That's right early. Yeah, that went well. I think we've only used one Pokemon. Paris. City of love, romance, and dreams. So they say. I used to say it too. But ever since that day. Yes, never you. Day of the murder. I've always associated my beloved Paris. With death. Oh no. I thought I didn't have a Meaver jam, but turns out I did. I guess I just forgot. A Charles Cecil production. I gauged that, yeah. <laughs> Neil Breen? Is it the same Neil Breen? Or a different one? Oh, no, James. Collard, get your ass over to the Palais Royale now. You got an interview with Pierre Carchamp. Yes, the Pierre Carchamp. <laughs> no photos, so leave your gear at home. He has for you personally. Don't ask me why. Anyhow, this could be big, so if he makes a pass, 
don't forget. Just smile, say yes, and keep taking notes. Yikes. So charming and so very apt. Pierre Carchon was a media king, a national hero, and one of the most infamous adulterers in Europe. He and his wife Imelda were just one step down from royalty. Whoa! Whoa. I hate mimes, but unless you humor them, they don't go away. That mime looks evil. Look. Here I was, the palace of the media king and the ice queen. I pressed the doorbell and set in motion a chain of events uh -oh. which would change my life forever. Yes, what is it? Madame, my name is Nico Collard. I'm here to see Monsieur Carchon. Come up, we're on the first floor. Madame Carchon, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm sure. The Ice Queen was certainly living up to her reputation. Oof. Will you be staying for the interview? Mademoiselle, I know little of my husband's business affairs, and I care even less. I certainly have no intention of watching him pour over yet another pretty little journalist. Pretty? You're too kind, madame. Uh... Ah, the talented and very beautiful Mademoiselle Collard. Such a pleasure to meet you at last. Monsieur Carchon, I am honored. Oh, I'm sure you are. Call me Pierre, please. But I do not flatter you idly. I was a friend of your father. He was a great man. My father? He never mentioned. He and I were very close. And then his death. So tragic. I must... <laughs> Imelda, your damned cat's in my study again. Hmm? Another Ming vase, I suppose. Excuse me for one moment, my dear girl. You journalists are getting younger each year. Perhaps it's the rest of the world getting older, madame. Oh my god! That was no cat. My god! What the Monsieur, fuck, bro? Monsieur Carson! Oh! I told you that mime was evil. He's dead. I must call the police. You'd better stay here. There was a man. It was the mime. Do you think he... Well, I believe we can rule out suicide, don't you? No wonder they called her the Ice Queen. She would have been top of my list of suspects if I hadn't seen the attacker myself. And if I hadn't come across a couple of murders just like this already. One of the most important men in Europe murdered. And here was I, Nico Coulard, alone at the scene of the crime. Should I wait for the cops or start my own investigation? It was a no-brainer. Oh, I thought I was actually getting a choice. I guess not. <laughs> Move the mouse pointer on the screen. Discover areas of interest, uh, which were indicated in the circle. Uh, when a pointer passes over an object, which you can interact with it, change to an negative mode, okay? Press the, left, press the left mouse button to perform an action. Click on the briefcase to open your inventory. Diary to access the diary. Thanks. Uh, question mark to get public into the interface helm. Spinner icon to help. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Mimes and guns don't usually go together, but I had an idea that this was no ordinary mime. I'd come across really? this murderer before what made you think that? and written about him. The costume killer. At least that's what I'd called him. Oh, I have... Oh, I guess I can't save. Just kidding. How is that a hint? <laughs> okay, search the whole apartment for clues. Stay out of sight of Melda. You might be able to search without being interrupted. Uh, as well as clues, you may need to talk to her. You find her on the phone by the front door.
A small round piece of glass had been cut out of the pane. This was a professional job. I didn't want to cut myself and leave blood on the glass. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to keep my DNA to myself. Pause. So you touched the door handle. Whoa. The killer must have used a ladder to reach the window. He was long gone. Guess he folded that ladder up, popped it in his pocket, and took it with him. I, I'm sure that was definitely it. A bust of Pierre Carchon, humble servant of La France. A bust of Pierre Carchon. The bookcase was filled with obscure first editions. Pierre Carchon again. His eyes seemed to follow me around the room. A bust of Pierre Carchon. Okay, I already looked there. The police could turn up at any minute. Somewhere there were clues to the... I reckoned that cloth might just turn out to be useful. Yoink. Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. I got something that would. Uh... I decided to keep the cloth for the time being. A magnificent antique table. It was a tube of acrylic paint. French ultramarine. Yoink. Just the color I was after for my bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone is... Young lady, what are you doing? Oh, this paint. <laughs> it's my favorite color. For God's sake, keep the damn stuff. Yoinked her paint right in front of her. <laughs> Excuse me, madame. Yes? I am so sorry for your loss, madame. No, you're not. You're a journalist. Journalists don't feel sorry. Not true. We shall see. Why did your husband send for me? What did he want to discuss? I have no idea. His business was his business. He never told you anything? No. And frankly, I preferred it that way. How did your husband know my father? I have no idea. You didn't know him? Thierry Collard? Pierre knew a lot of people I didn't know, most of them women. Why would a mime want to kill your husband? Pierre had plenty of enemies. Half the husbands in Paris for a start. This is quite a scoop for you. I suppose you're already inventing the headlines. Just because I am a journalist. Don't patronize me. You're all cut from the same cloth. Do you have any moral sense at all? Whoa! <laughs> Angel devil option. Yes! That's why I do this job. You do it to see your name in print. As if. My editor gets the byline, I just do the work. Well, don't expect my sympathy. The police will be here soon, madame. Is there anybody you would like me to contact? Family? Friends? No. I have no family. Pierre and I were... He was all I had, really. Not much, was it? The dutiful wife? That was my role. He never talked, never let me in. I know one thing, madame. What? If you want to find what? out who killed your husband, then you let me do the job, not the police. Why? How do I know I can trust you? Your husband invited me here today because he needed me. I think he knew somebody wanted to kill him, and he knew I could help. I doubt it was your database he was after. You're wrong. I was onto his killers already, I am sure of it. Please, you owe it to him. I don't know. All I need is a few more minutes to look around before the police come. You really do have a moral sense, don't you? I trust so few people. And perhaps Pierre really did think that you could help. Of course it wouldn't have stopped him seducing you too. Here, take this. It's the key to the drawing room next to the library at the end of the hall. Oh. It was Pierre's room. I rarely went in there. I couldn't. I was too scared of what I might find. Thank you. I promise you won't regret this.
Fudki, Fudki, boof. Uh, by the library. Was the library where I was just in? Or was that the study? Oh no! Oh, Dion, thank you for the resub. How are you, bud? I also don't know why that lurks so big. The door was locked. Now we were getting somewhere. I was going good. I didn't need the lights on. It was light enough already. Thanks. <laughs> As expected, the desk was yet another priceless antique. Yawn. The blotter and in tray had clearly been placed with mathematical precision. I didn't want to take the tray, but I knew that I could use it. I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Not while it was blank. My heart skipped a beat. It was a carved elephant. But not just any carved elephant. It had been made by my father. I knew for certain because in my apartment I had its exact twin. Oh, good, carved good. into a box he had made. So Koshal had known my father. They really must have been friends. I decided to take the carved elephant. It clearly meant nothing to Imelda. Yoink. This wasn't the time for me to lie on this sofa doing my Marie Antoinette impression. Sure it is. Locked. Not surprising, really. It didn't work, but I guess it would have been surprising if it had. Painting showed the cachons together, in love. As the poet said, the past is a different country. Or did I read that in a fortune cookie? There was the very faintest of clicks. Aha! Uh -huh. Behind the picture was a safe. The safe was locked. I needed the key. I'm guessing this key won't work on it. It was the wrong kind of key. Yeah. I didn't want to take... I didn't need... I didn't want... wonder where this key could be can I smash it with the elephant um no damn it okay I don't see anything else in here Maybe I missed something in here. Pierre Cochon again. His eyes seem to follow me around the room. When in doubt, vandalize on right? It contained rows of titles I didn't recognize. If I talk to her again, she'll know something. Did you find anything useful? No, nothing. I'm sorry. And right now she had enough to deal with. I decided a white lie wouldn't do any harm. The real Imelda was clearly emerging. Just one thing. I know this is going to sound strange, but did your husband ever mention, did he ever talk to you about a penguin? 
or a snowman. What? I don't understand. He never mentioned people dressed up as penguins. Nico, I don't know what you're talking. My dear, you should go before the police arrive. There will be many awkward questions. I am grateful that you stayed. You've been so kind. Please, call if there is anything I can do. I'd misjudged her. She had every reason to be bitter, living with a guy like Carchon. From the sound of it, no one and nothing was safe around him. Hmm. Maybe I should have interrogated the cat after all. The cat? What cat? What are you talking about? Even my thing. It wouldn't fit. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Oh, well, thank you for just telling me that. <laughs> Pierre Carchon was stiff. It was one of my hair clips. My favorite, in fact. It must have fallen when I was knocked down. Okay. A magnificent antique table. You know damn well something I'm trying to do. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. You are just so damn good at this stuff. Instead of comforting Imelda, I was ransacking her flat. Why? Because there was something going on here, and I had to get answers before the cops arrived. Bro, good thing and the police hey, are so slow. She'd been rude to me, so she had it coming. Oh, ass, please. So is this the safe key? Yep. In the safe was some kind of artifact. There were strange symbols on its surface. It looked like the printer's blocks I'd made at art school. If there was one thing like bomb, I'd yeah. learned about symbols, they are always important. But these symbols scratched into stone were impossible to read. I needed to find a way of printing them. At least the stone was round. But what could I use for ink? And what could I print on? Sure, I was stealing, but I knew Imelda didn't know about the artifact, and Carchon was past caring. What's up, Alec? The oh, blotter right. was flat already. Rolling the cylinder across it would achieve nothing. Inspector Clouseau, I would like to rent a room. A room? Yes, a room. The paint would have just soaked into the blotting paper, but the idea was good. I didn't need a sheet. Putting the paint straight on the cylinder would be too messy. The paint would go everywhere. The blotter was flat already. Rolling the cylinder across it would achieve nothing. Hmm. Putting... Oh, the tray. I'd spread Point the click, paint yeah. over the bottom of the tray. It was ruined. 
I was a very bad, bad girl. Pause. But also quite a clever one. I rolled the artifact Whoa. in the paint until it was completely coated. An antique tray with paint spread all over it. Not a lot I could do with that. Um, no. I didn't need a sheet. I didn't need a sheet. An anti. Not a lot. Um, no. Hmm. I, I didn't. Well, I'm confused. Pour the paint in the tray, roll the cylinder to paint what's in the tray. The paint covers. Oh. Genius. The roller and the paint worked just as I planned. But what did it say? What the hell? It was some kind of coded message. It read, Sub Judici. I may not have learned a lot as a journalist, but that was a term I knew well. It means a legal case that is before the courts. Below it was a sequence of letters that made no sense. Yoink. Man, these are the slowest place of all time, let me tell you. Pierre Carchon was stiff. Oh. Carchon had been shot. Really? In his pocket, I found a ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. Taking the ticket meant I tampered with the evidence. There was no going back now. I suddenly realized there was a connection between the boat ticket and the coded message. The boat ticket was stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie on the Ile de la Cité, by the river, housed the ancient law courts. So, sub judice could, in this case, mean literally right. under the law courts, below the Conciergerie. Place fault for being slow. Sub judice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I was pretty sure I'd found all I could here. And besides, all this opulence was making me pine for my regular life of poverty. This was a huge story. It was also one heck of a puzzle with a lot of pieces missing. But I was going to crack it. And if I could just remember the name of that fancy prize you get for being an ace journalist, I was definitely going to win it this time. Did you find anything useful? This carving. Do you know anything about it? It was Pierre's. What does the statue have to do with... Please, I need to know. He was given it by a friend. Something to do with Africa. He never explained anything. Don't take no. a lot to drag me but away from you. But I think it was important to him. Always on display. Why? It was carved by my father. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Imelda, I will do everything I can to find the killer. Thank you, my dear. And if the police ask, don't worry. 
You were never here. Let's go. Judice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I decided to head straight for the quayside on the Ile de la Cité. If there was a way of getting under the conciergerie, it would have to be from there. One hour later. Canchon wasn't the type for messing about on the river. He was up to something down here. Something that got him killed. An old boyfriend of mine owned a barge once. Dampest relationship I ever had. In every way. Oh yeah, that'll do it. The fence wouldn't move. Maybe this one will move. Damn. This fence wouldn't move either. <laughs> Worth a shot. How about this thing? The cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. It was embroidered on the lace cloth I picked up at Carchon's apartment. I knew I was on the right track. Damn. I tried pushing the fence, but it wouldn't move. A strange pair of locks stopped the latches from releasing the gate. Oh, not a puzzle. You must move the rectangular blocks so the latch can slide all the way across. Ugh. Fucking puzzles, yo. do it I need this one to move it means I need to move these away start over. Okay. Hope you get Sean. Now... Oh, I think I might have it. No, I thought I had it. If I could just find a way to...
But no, that, 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 yeah. This would have to go all the way down. Yeah, so. This one, this needs to go all the way down. I need to find a way first to get rid of these ones. I don't think that's going to work. So close. So close. So, this block needs to go all the way down, but this block needs to go I want you I will in a second I want to see if I can figure it out my for myself though first this what we know for sure is this block needs to go all the way down which means this block needs to go at least over here but I'm just wondering how I can make that Take it over here, but then I can't get rid of this block. No, that's as far up as it goes. 
doesn't help me. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to look it up and say I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, there's another one on the other side, too. He did that one first. Like I've been here before, but go on. The guy doing this game is like he's doing this like two miles per hour. Can't see how we get there. down one to go lord okay there's no way i'm gonna get this let me see what we got down and back that way. Well, it says up. Both those that way and both those down. I was thinking that, Scar, yeah, because, I mean, those hints were basically telling me what to do. I was like, there's no way. 
kind of like the new Mega Man collection that has saves when the original didn't. I see it now. What? Wait, it didn't just. Oh no, it didn't, Tucker. Oh, maybe it refreshed. Restarted. Nothing like a good convent education for honing your lockpicking skills. Oh! Morgan murdered it. Uh, on January 2nd, 2019, CEO and founding of Slightly Limited Studios announced that Twitter, via Twitter, the company will be creating its own video game console, which will be called the Madbox. Claim console will be the most com powerful console ever built, saying the running games at 4K resolution from 28 feet with four over the headsets. The company has made a console will be released in 2022. Yeah, that did not happen. Are they still making it, or did they give up? For a room full of junk, that was one very sophisticated lock system. I know, right? This place was definitely fishy. Yeah, about them are classic. In more ways than one. Oops. Why? <laughs> An old shell case. I wondered what that was doing there. Moving a skiff would only damage it. The words sinister and dexter were carved on either side. That's a good now show. any good convent girl like me knows the old Roman for left, right, left, right. But what did it mean here? Left. Nothing happened. Oh. Nothing happened. The hole was too small even for my little hand. Elephant. Nope. No handle. Nothing obvious. I heard about that quite yeah. It just tells me. <laughs> Maybe it needs a key. What can fit in the hole? Put the cylinder in the hole. <laughs> it sounds like it's met. It sounds like it's fed up at the end. <laughs> Mystery solved. Carchon stone cylinder slotted into the hole with a satisfying click. New Orleans Saints logo. Left. A satisfying click told me I turned it to the right position. It felt like tumblers in a safe. Right. Another click. Another step closer. Left. Right. I made a mistake. The lock reset. Ah, oh, you lied to me. A set. Another click. Another step closer. Holy shit, Rob. Oh no. I had to start again. But. As. 
another. I must have made a miss. Okay. Left. As. Right. Another. Left. Left. Right. Right. Oh no. Tightness. Left. As set. Right. And left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Oh Fuck. no. Fuck. Left. As right. And left. Left. Right. Left. Left. I love the sound of locks clicking open. Wow, Rob. What's the Vatican? Oh my god. The slab came down with a hell of a force. With nothing to hold it up, the cross dropped back down again. Hmm. <laughs> Elephant. The panel was... I need something to hold it up. Is there anything I can find in here? I don't know. What should I do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> what? But that was that was it. No. Lifting the cross closed the entrance door and also opened some kind of stone panel. Ingenious. Bro, that's what... What do you mean? you the stone cross was propped up now i was getting somewhere now i can press the shiny red button i touched the slot nothing bad happened which was good i've always been attached to my fingers this slot was designed for something specific but what yes i touched which this No. Hairpin? No. This thing? No. 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 Elephant. No. I don't have it, I guess. No, how bad would... Oh. 314. I removed the shell case. Like I removed Bruh.
The artifact slotted into the hole perfectly. Behind the old walls, I could hear some kind of mechanism groaning into life, but whatever had been triggered had now jammed. Jam. The gap was too thin for me to get a grip. I needed something thin enough to prise the door open. Pause. I was going to need something a lot stronger than... All right, all right. Elephant is strong. <laughs> no. Okay. A shell case, maybe? I removed the shell case. The cross didn't drop back down. Some kind of mechanism was holding it up. Yeah, I wonder what that could be. The gap was too narrow. I needed something flatter to work into it. back down though now yeah Stone door slammed down hard when you lift it across. If something run in metal were under it, it would soon be flat in metal. I removed the shell case. This one? What do you mean? Oh, okay, I figured I didn't need to break this, but... Okay. How do I hold the door open now, though? The stone slab had flattened one end of the shell case. I removed the shell case. Aha. Another good, another secret room. Somebody had something to hide. But was it what I was looking for?
It's there to you. Wow. Through the darkness, I could see that this was a stateroom. But for what purpose? And how did it tie in Still with doing 2.4, well. Can't see shit in here. Is there a light switch somewhere? Amazing. I wasn't going to find anything in this old desk. It hadn't been used for years. How do you know? Oh, but this old desk is useful. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Inside the drawer, I found I a note written in some kind of code. Yoink. It was pretty clear from the lack of dust that someone had been working very recently at this desk. Oh, there's me. Oh, my God. The sheet was a printout with my personal information. Everything from my favorite food to my waist size. They were right about chocolate. But <laughs> come on, guys. I'm a size 10. There was even a picture of me taken with a telephoto lens. Carchon wouldn't have taken these pictures himself. This was big. And organized. I was part of it. And people were getting murdered. This was the article I'd written about the costume killer. My suspicions were right. Conchon had cut it out. Two businessmen had been killed. One in Italy, one in Japan. In each case, the killer had worn a costume. A penguin, and then a snowman. But that wasn't the only link between the two murders. Both the victims had been big media do-gooders. And I proved they were just the opposite. So, how did they fit in with Conchon? The dregs at the bottom of the mug hadn't dried out or gone moldy. It wasn't more than a day old. So My articles yesterday. about the costume killer. The flags had faded, but their message was still pretty clear. Fascist regalia, a message of hate. What's up, Will? How are you? Oh, thank. Damn, don't you just hate it when that happens? photo long lost had fallen down the back of the drawer it was very old but there was no mistaking the guy in the foreground Carchon. behind him were soldiers a burning village and a corpse the photograph was cropped on the right hand side somebody else in the picture obviously didn't want to be in it anymore Plans i wasn't Garamnes. surprised this was africa in the 60s an uprising was being brutally suppressed and here was mr media himself Carchon doing the suppressing. The photograph was not just powerful evidence. It was also my ticket to one explosive story. There was nothing else in the drawer. The drawer had come out. Uh, 
not know. Okay. Let's correctly match all the symbols of the corresponding level. Oh my god. Okay. So it starts... That one. Only two. Could be an S. Yeah, you know, there only being two S's, I think, are low. That's probably an O. Yeah. So that could be E. That could be E. That could be E. That could be E. I feel like that's E. That's probably A. Yeah. This could be N or it could be S. Let's see. Probably S. Hmm. Maybe? So that's O. What is that, James?
all report That's probably W. Yeah. Teletubbies on crack. Teletubbies is already on crack. That says that one's probably H. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that one's S. Yeah, that one's S. That makes more sense. Too urgent. Full report to follow, but... Oh, so that's B. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and this D. Arno and both dead. And Danda, Fanda. And, uh, and, uh, hmm. This is not a coincidence. Oh, so I have C wrong? I just didn't have it. It seems Wait. Is it Amanda with two A's? Commanda, Demanda, Bamanda, Jamanda, Hamanda, Lamanda, Mamanda. Namanda, Pamanda, Ramanda, Samanda, Tamanda, Wamanda. I guess it could be two A's. Some sad. Yeah, I heard about that a couple days ago. This is not a coincidence. Deep seems that all of us who came together in in what are in danger. This is K. I guess it could be Amanda. Oh. July. Pierre, full report to follow, but this is an urgent to wait. Too urgent to wait. Arno and Amanda both dead. 
This is not a coincidence. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came to give her in July are in danger. Uh, take great care. Q, V, X, or Z? Z. X. I decrypted the note. It read, Pierre. Full report to follow. But this is too urgent to wait. Arno and Yamada both dead. Yamada. This is not a coincidence. Okay, I guess it has a name. Indeed, it seems that all of us who came together in July are in danger. Take great care. X. I wasn't the only one did to they, make Jean? the connection between the costume killer murders. I'd been right all along. That was why he had asked to meet me. But what did I know that he didn't? I had enough for a story. An amazing story that was going to make my reputation and blow Conchance to pieces. I needed to get home fast and start typing. Oh, I'm surprised we actually got home. Figure we're going to get your ass whooped. Uh-oh. Bonsoir, Coulard. Nico, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, you cracked open the champagne yet? Are you crazy? What's wrong? Wait a minute. You didn't print it, did you? Of course I didn't print. That's the best piece I've written. The last, as far as I'm concerned. It's important. It's suicidal. You can't destroy a national hero. Yes, he I can. He it. His corpse isn't even cold. Ronnie, two hours ago I told you what I'd found. You loved it. You begged me to write it up immediately. Two hours is a long time in newspapers, Nico. Someone's got to you, haven't they? Yeah. Listen up, Nicole, and listen good. Pierre Carchon had a lot of friends, powerful friends, for your own sake. Forget what happened. You got it. End of conversation. Good night. This should have been my big break, but I knew there was nowhere else to sell this story. If Ronnie wouldn't print it, nobody would. Time to start my own newspaper, boys. Bonsoir, Collard. Mademoiselle Collard, my name is Plantard. I need to talk to you about your story, your Pierre Carchon story. How did you know about that? There are people out there, madame, who will be very upset by this story. Oh, really? Well, it's their lucky day. It's been spiked. Yes, I know. We must meet. We must? I have information relating to your costume killer stories. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Café de la Chandelle Verte. Rue Alain Cor. I shall be wearing a grey overcoat. You must talk to no one about this. Just like I am right you now. You can't tell me what to... Tomorrow at 8. I'll be waiting. Evidently he can tell you what to do. <laughs> People complain about newspaper articles all the time, but not usually before they're printed. I was beginning to feel scared. This guy, Plantard, could I trust him? Should I meet him or forget the whole business? I didn't have an answer. Stop asking me questions if you're not going to give me choices. I'd only been in Paris for a week, but already I'd fallen in love with the city. Oh, My God. latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Vette. Look at this dude. <laughs> I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. That old Stobart charm, I guess. Uh. Little did I know my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. Yoink. Oh, I killed him. Damn clowns. As I picked myself up, I was really angry. One minute I'm on vacation, the next minute some clowns blown me up. <laughs> I knew right away what I was going to do. I was going to find that clown and bring him to justice. Because justice matters. Justice is up okay. to liberty. And equality. And uh, fraternity. After all, that's why I'd studied law, wasn't it? Well, that and the money, of course. This is the most American character ever written. 
That's where I'm beginning, unfortunately, you're playing in what makes it inferior. Yeah, he's just like, well, I got work to do, so. Please, hold it right there. What the oh, fuck? Don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. That Can't make up your mind. Huh? <laughs> I demand to see the American <laughs> consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Mu. I apologize, Monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe. March. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, Monsieur. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mu? Oui, Monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. <laughs> Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. Et maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so, apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll leave. She confirms the American statement. A clown with an accordion, no doubt. I mean, she'll live. She looks fine. Disguise. Very well. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Uh. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the time. the family. music. <laughs> yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nico Collard. From La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. Uh, you can't die in this version. A lot of the puzzles in Sims Lighter move. The characters not move. 
uh, I wouldn't say simplify the puzzles. Well, actually, there is a hint system that tells you exactly what to do. So there's that. <laughs> have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Damn. Look. The inspector gave me his card. Also? You know him? Oh, yes, we've met. I didn't know his first name was Augusta. It suits him, I must say. He ain't calm down. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planta. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Mm, I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story, and I'll let you know what already. I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, well, that's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be no one come out. You. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. Damn, she walked right through me. Yeah, this hint system seems it makes it a little bit easier. George says it's five the explosion. What should I do now? Search the breeze for clues. It's a newspaper play. Yeah, it just straight tells me. Yoink. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. That sounded it like read original audio. Salah Eddin, 1345. What's up, Chad? The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Really, Rob? That might explain a lot. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnet, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed oh. confidence, <laughs> like a regular French statesman. The big story was about the the guy. The column was devoted exclusively to rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. The column was devoted ex The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Unpronounceable? <laughs> I noticed the it read... Okay. Oh, great hint, wizard. What should I do now? Oh, thank you. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico. That's a good point, but tell me about the explosion. Weak ass. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. Bare hands. There was nothing of interest. <laughs> Good job there. Nice shit. Oh my god! Meowsers. I'd had it with sticking my nose into French trash cans. <laughs> Just kidding. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Probably what a cat was in there. So I get, yeah, funny enough, that actually works with Ginger's character, to be honest. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. Oh. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. I decided I'd have... Can I not take the drain pipe? Oh, I guess not. Oh, wizard, what should I do now? Ah. Wait, so you just want me to steal from this workman? Hey, stop that! Get away from there! What do you think you're doing? I was admiring your toolbox. 
Oh, eh? Had a good look, have you? I'm warning you, if you touch it, I'll crack your nut. Okay, I get your point. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested. No, nah, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics packed quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! In a sense. He was only doing his duty, I guess. What's in the toolbox? What's in the toolbox? As if you did What's in the know. box? What's the big deal about tools, anyhow? They're cool. Tools are They're cool. <laughs> you don't say. That's right. Tools are what distinguish us from other animals. Who are you calling an animal? I've met your sword before. Looking down your nose at me because I'm working class, huh? I have a good mind to knock your block off. What kind of tools do you keep in your box? Huh? You really are interested in tools? Sure, like I said, tools are- Not again! Uh, civilization, so you keep saying. So, are you gonna show them to me? Am I- Good eye, Jambo. you? Aw, oh, come on. Just a little peek. I've got work to do. Find someone else to bother. Oh, but keep asking you. Do you have a tool for lifting manhole covers? As it happens, I do. Cool. Lend it to me, uh, just for a few minutes. No. Aw, oh, come on. Come on. No. Get your own. Let me explain what I'm going to do <laughs> with your manhole lifting tool. Let me explain what I'm going to do with my peak. Oh, hey, forget it. I'll come back when you're in a better mood. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, man. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait. Silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care beat. I could have knocked his block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantow. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. <laughs> if only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. <laughs> they really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Wow. Very meta there. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Huh. Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. Same. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. I don't know if you're quite. You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. It'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? Kinda. No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, an old man was killed. Merd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the same. <laughs> Take a look at this. You told me you weren't a cop. Don't shout about it. I'm working undercover. Who are you looking for? That's confidential. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could Between read who, lunch Or is it about a while? Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Ah, look at these damn bleeding out liberals. <laughs> yeah. Save the dolphins. 
Catch them and eat them, I say. All that Holy fuss fuck. over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus oh, it's a chamber reborn, match. Mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. Oh, so the chamber is the number one contender. Gotcha. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm uh, going to some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stop it. Help yourself. Sick. I finally annoyed him to death. Gotta wait till he walks off screen. Okay. I'd found just what I wanted. A tool for lifting manhole covers. Robard, no. Manhole tool. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. Probably because it is one. Uh, that's... Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to look down it. I was like, that's not lined up. <laughs> is that the clown nose? As I picked up the plastic ball... I realized yep. it was intended to be worn. Listen. It was the clown's red nose. I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. Gross. By the way, this game's not long, is it? Because I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure we could end up finishing this not today, but um, over time. I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Hi there. Hold it right there, you, you sore rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back, and now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there. At 10 hour? Okay, that's not bad. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? I was looking for a clown. Ha! Huh. Ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon dieu! That is awful! And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew uh... up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah! Uh, mon dieu! Then, the man I chased, do you think that man and the clown are... One and the same? Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Eleven hours, oh, ten no. I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Ugh. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> Just like you. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. Same thing. Ha! Ah, that's what you say. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, he doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find him. 
Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. I am a Bravo. real American. Uh, you need some sensible <laughs> boots. You won't get far in those uh, stupid sneakers. Wow. I like my stupid sneakers, you bitch. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Well, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave? Or do I have to call the police? Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm-hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm-hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. It is your posture, your... your poise. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one. I changed his tone. He grabbed me in an arm lock. Oh, he was, Rob. Suddenly, next to mine, his grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh no! He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Anytime anything does thing that hurts real, chopping blame plus some chest to go to a room, taking furrows, run around business. That's Bill Goldberg wrestling so house. <laughs> God damn it. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? Uh... So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, <laughs> mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know, but the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, thank you for the reason. Pretty bad. Take a look at this false nose. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless he wanted you to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you off the scent. Could be. This is what I use to open the manhole cover. I have one just the same as that, monsieur. I will fetch it if you like. No, don't bother. Oh, <laughs> it is no bother, monsieur. Nah, forget it. Just trying to be helpful, monsieur. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, mm, disgusting. <laughs> What on earth possessed you to show it to me? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. I'm just trying to exercise the dialogue, brother. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. Okay. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. What is it? Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn. So, I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise, it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside, on the label. That's helpful. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. 
Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. <laughs> what was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Tardrik, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with number that I learned in the desert. Good night, I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Facts. I think I've excess all dialogue. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. So the clown had escaped into the sewer, come up into the courtyard, and then slipped back into the street here. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's cool they're letting him and Nakamura finally do that bull rope match on TV. Already 18%. All right. So, uh, we will be back on... Tomorrow's Monday, right? Yeah, we'll be back on Marble Schedule tomorrow. Uh, whoops. That's not how you spell that. For today, we'll probably continue that game since, again, you said, what, it's only like 10 hours? So, yeah, we could definitely finish it. He's randomly missed. I know, right? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Who missed somebody at a fucking house show? Uh, we went a little over two hours. Follower count is 52.23. Thank you to... Uh, Will for the resub. And also LDN and Blade for the resubs as well. I wonder if there's anyone else streaming this. I'm not going to raid them because it would be spoilers. I'm just curious. No, I'm the only person streaming this currently. Uh... Wow, Poppik's playing a Sims free? No shit. Her and I have very, very similar game tastes. She streamed Toontown before and now this. I'll read the bathroom. Cool. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. For those of you guys who don't know, I stream every single day, so I will be right to back on here tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Good night, guys.